4601 with a red LED. This is uh, really one of the most basic I've seen that GE ever did. Uh, has a small speaker on the side, single alarm. Uh, it does have battery backup, and it does have a little bit of a cube design, so I think I was in incorrect with my other one where I said it was the only cube design. The 4607, it's called the Night Jammer. This was more or less a kid's version. It has a small speaker. It does have a headphone jack, a uh, single alarm, and there is a spot where you'd put headphones in here, but I no longer have them. Uh, also does have battery backup and the AM FM switches on the back, but very basic unit uh, that gets the job done. The 4616, this features two wake times, an electronic on and off system, also has forward and reverse time setting. It has a lock switch so that you don't change the time. Um, on top of that, it has battery backup and that's it. But it's a nice little radio, it's small, but the fact that it has a couple of those additional features makes it a little bit more unique for a, a small radio of this form factor. This is the 4618. It has a fluorescent display. Um, most of these have problems. I think it probably just needs new capacitors, but this is my second radio that actually has the same issue like this. Anyways, it's a no frills basic machine. It does have a brightness control. And here's what's interesting is the snooze bar when the alarm is on. There's a little LED on there, I guess, so you can look over and then you press it and then it goes off. So I actually turned the alarm on for the demo. That's where that light came on. Uh, it does have battery backup, but very basic clock radio. The 4620. This particular unit um, is a cube square box style radio. It's one of the only ones that GE has made from what I can tell. Um, single alarm. It does not have battery backup or any other features such as brightness, but it does have the red standard LED. Speaker is on the side. The 4624, this one I see more often than not um, in thrift stores and everywhere. It's really just a basic unit. It doesn't have a lot of features, uh, but it has a red clock and uh, just a single alarm with battery backup. Very, very basic, but gets the job done. This is the 4625. There are no frills, no features on this one. Um, just a standard AM FM clock radio, no dimmer, no dual alarm, no battery backup. Uh, this is also one that I see a lot in my travels, so they must have sold quite a few of these. The 4630, this is a very basic, simple clock. Note that this one has a red display. It does have battery backup, but uh, no other uh, interesting features. This is another variant of the 4630. The only difference is the dis uh, the dial display is a little bit different, but essentially the same radio as the other one, which was just shown. This is the 4634 with red LED clock display. Um, it's really only a single alarm. You choose music or alarm. Um, no brightness controls or any real features to speak of, but it does get the job done and it does have battery backup. The 4636, it has uh, dual alarms, but really no other remarkable features, just the red LED and it does have battery backup. Here's the 4638 with the green LED display. Uh, this one has reverse and forward fast and slow buttons, so they have all the options here. Um, also two wakes, a wake one and wake two, plus the soft touch on and off. Uh, does have battery backup. 
So yeah, it's kind of more basic, but it does have uh, does have some extra features there. Forty six, forty two. This is another one that has a uh, fluorescent display. I really like these. There's actually a high low switch. The low is extremely low, but uh, it's adjustable. It does only have one alarm and has battery backup. Uh, more or less kind of a simple unit. Um, I will say this one does sound better though. It has a little bit bigger speaker and I've actually purchased these radios just for the speaker to use them in other ones that need replacement. The 4652, which has a green LED clock, it does have a dimmer adjusting uh, knob on the bottom. It has a lighted dial for your frequency. Single alarm, but uh, everything is electronically set here via these buttons, and there's even a lock button, but you can do fast forward, reverse, um, and then the the power is a, is a single on-off soft switch. It does not have battery backup. Here's the 4662 which features soft touch controls. Uh, also has a, a illuminated backlit frequency indicator here and uh, a little bit different configuration on the side so you actually have the volume knob in the middle of the tuning knob a tone control, and then there's the FM and AM, but it's just kind of interesting how they pack this stuff in here. Uh, does have battery backup, and there's also a brightness wheel for the clock, which is nice because these uh, fluorescent displays can illuminate an entire room very easily at night and keep you up. Here's the 4666. It's a little similar to another one that's in the collection. It has um, soft touch controls, but has an illuminated uh, frequency indicator, blue LCD, uh, forward and reversed fast and slow settings, as well as sleep and a nap timer. Uh, it has a tone control and brightness which you need for the blue LCD or it lights up the whole room. And uh, that is it. But I like this one. This one has a little bit larger speaker. Also sounds uh, really good. Here's the 4675 with a green LED display. Has the reverse and forward time setting options. Um, also two wake times, so two alarms. And has an external antenna jack, which is nice. Uh, they also put the music and alarm switch back here in the middle of nowhere. And then there's also a brightness wheel for the front. So it uh, looks kind of like a basic unit, but it actually has some nice little features to it. The 4687. Uh, what's interesting about this one is it has a lot of advanced digital setting controls in terms of uh, how you set the clock. It has fast forward and reverse as well as slow. When you turn it on it has LED indicators and it also features TV stations so in the broadcast days of over the air you could actually get your TV sound on it so it, it does have that additional uh, set of bands also, the speaker is a little bit larger. I would say it does sound a little bit better. And then finally, we do have a brightness control for the green LED clock, external antennas, and also the ability to change the antenna input via a switch. Um, I haven't seen that often with these radios where you can actually hook up multiple antennas and then you just choose what you want. And you'll also notice it has a whip antenna which comes up right there or a dipole antenna as some people would call it. This is the 4691. Uh, one of the features of this radio is it has an extremely good sound quality. It's got separate bass and treble controls a lighted dial as well as a fluorescent display. The uh, 
Controls inside have the fast and slow reverse and forward options, which um, are kind of nice. It's only a uh, music or music alarm system, so it doesn't have really a, a dual alarm, uh, which you would think almost for more of a premium radio it would have. It also does have an external antenna connector and a brightness control for the fluorescent display. Um, this is almost kind of a table radio turned into a clock radio, but regardless, it is a clock radio. The 4800, this is um, a digital clock radio that has the numeric keypad, but only for programming the alarms, and there are two alarms on this. Uh, there is a brightness control. This also has the graduate, which will... Uh, if you turn it on, it will start with a lower sounding radio or alarm, and then it gradually gets louder. That way you are not woken up to just a loud sound. What's kind of interesting is that the uh, FM and AM have lights, so they felt that it was important to distinguish between FM and AM and actually put a light. And then also this uh, display does have a backlight to it as well for the... Uh, uh, the frequency indicator, but it can't see it right now uh, with the camera.